All right, guys. So you know, Alex's favorite bike of all time the is the Fat Cat. He's actually been working on this thing for a little while. So we decided to make this 2000 CR250 into a Fat Cat. And we've sold a lot of these kits. We do a lot with the CR250s. What we don't do is make blue and white Hondas. We're super pumped about this. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. Alex is gonna hold the camera and I'm gonna show you guys some uh, cool features on this bike. This was, I think. <laughs> This was, I think, a marketplace find, Alex. Marketplace find. Marketplace find. Guy actually brought it to us, which was awesome. Um, bike was solid. This was a super clean 2000 CR250 with the title. And the reason I'm saying that is because this bike is for sale. Anybody that has one of these and wants this sitting next to it, this bike is for sale. We started with a, just a stock dirt bike. It was clapped out, worn out, all the fun stuff. We stripped this bike down. We powder coated the whole chassis. We don't typically go white on everything, but I felt like it was a necessity on this. We actually, we almost went white on the hubs. I think it would have been too much, but we did go white on the triple clamps, white on the frame, swing arm wheels. It's cool seeing this 12 inch wheel in gloss white. And guys, the best feature on this, we've got a headlight. The way we pulled this off, there's no charging system on this here 250. We actually mounted a battery under the seat. Easy to recharge, pop it off, pop it back on. You get hours of actual runtime out of that battery, which is pretty cool. I haven't yet check out my new website i don't mean to sound repetitive in all these videos but head over to bbchub.com i'm going to enter some clips of uh what we've got on the website so right here you guys can see we've got a community forum where we can all communicate talk share our builds and then we have groups we've got specific groups for our customers from big wheels to trikes to dirt bikes to quads i hope to see you guys on there posting your projects now you guys can win this bike right here 2022 cr250 Head over to bbchub.com, sign up. If you guys want to win bikes, it's 20 bucks a month. It's a community. So what we're doing is all the money from memberships, it all goes into, into a fund. We're gonna put it all towards builds and custom bikes that we're gonna give away. We're trying to do this every quarter. I wanna see one of you lucky guys win, or girls, win one of these bikes every quarter. That's my goal. I want more of you guys on trikes, on dirt bikes, on big wheels. But uh, hope to see you guys on there. Of course, when you buy a used two-stroke, the pipes are always dinged up. So we got a brand new FMF exhaust on here. It's a fatty series pipe. And as you guys know, we've got our complete big wheel kit. So everything from billet triple clamps to widen out the front end, custom billet hub, extended axle, and our custom wheels that we make in house. DW2 actually supplies us with the wheel halves. We weld them, machine them, and fabricate them in house, which is awesome. We have some wide folding foot pegs on this bike. So we're adding about an inch and a half over a stock peg. It is a bit much. If you're not leaning it far enough over to drag the peg, it's perfect. It feels really good trail riding and all that fun stuff. Um, some guys like them, some don't like them. We, we like the fat pegs. We did leave a twist throttle on this bike. I just figured I'd point that out, Alex. You, you gotta point that I mean, out. Some guys that hate twist, some guys that hate, they hate thump. You just never know what you're gonna get. Um, uh, if you do buy the bike, we could put a thumb throttle on it if you would like, yeah, just so saying. If you want a thumb throttle, we can do it. If you're a dirt bike guy and you like twist, it's fine. Now, where am I at? We've got brand new aftermarket radiators with the white louvers, aftermarket hose kit. Alex actually went ahead and rebuilt all the suspension. So this was all stripped, completely rebuilt on the internals. He pulled the anodizing off. We've got the nice decals on here. Best feature on this bike. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I'm still in this one right here. Just, just for fun. Yep. Now, I'm gonna talk about the color white some more. I never thought our swing arm would look so good in white. Actually, if you get a shot right here, you can see we actually did strip the rear shock down. We rebuilt the internals. Alex actually went through this whole shock, top to bottom, she was tired. New bone stock, powder coated spring. Again, all the internals. But yeah, this this beautiful, beautiful white swing arm. I'm oh. impressed with the powder coat job for sure. Uh, new linkage bearings too. Yes, new linkage bearings. If, you, if there's anything I forget, Alex, just go ahead. Just go ahead and let me know. Um, yeah. Let's zoom in here on the rear brakes. 
So we've actually upgraded this CR250 to the basically the new style rear brakes. Got the disc and the uh, caliper and brake stay from the newer bike. Got the billet hub assembly. The exhaust was spaced over with some uh, with some spacers to get her out of the way of the tire. New chain sprockets. I mean, this bike's pretty much this bike's pretty much brand new. Um, I'm actually sad to sell it. This is. One of the nicer bikes we've built, but somebody's gonna get a killer bike, and that's that's fine. So we're gonna build another one. If this is popular. We're gonna build more than one for sure. And Alex, I think you accidentally ordered this standard cover, but it worked out in our favor. I ordered. A, I was trying to order one for a 500 at one point. I ordered one for a 250, but good old good old eBay. They had the part numbers mixed up. We had this brand new. I think these are discontinued. It's a brand new Honda standard cover on there. Which is cool. uh, we did powder coat this too. So that's space. That was the original one that came with it. Yep. OEM covers and powder coated got some asv levers on here they're not new but we did clean them up and then man we're back to the front again if you guys like this headlight and you do want one for your bike we have them on bbctrikes.com i am going to add them on the big wheel website because these also fit all of our big wheels along with all the trikes so now we're going to do a comparison so we're going to i'm going to bring this bike over here and put it next to this so you guys can actually see roughly the size comparison every time <laughs> this is why we did this. This is why we started I think, the big wheels. I think this thing's one of our shop favorites. Everyone loves this bike. Close. No, it'll be alright. You can kind of get a size comparison. Just like a little walk around. Yeah, so quite a bit taller. Um, these tires do lower the bikes down about an inch and a half from a stock dirt bike. So that is an advantage. If you like a lower bike or you're a shorter rider or you're just inexperienced on a dirt bike, these things make riding a dirt bike so much easier, so much easier. The traction you get with a fat tire and the fact you can actually air the tire down makes a big difference in the gravel or the loose terrain. A lot of guys ask why we do this. You're looking at it guys. If you live where it's nasty and rocky and muddy, sandy, all that stuff, anywhere that you need flotation, this is it. This is definitely it. I'm gonna go as far as saying for I'd say 80% of riding, other than track riding, I actually prefer a big wheel. That's me. Got a lot of guys test these. I'm gonna insert a link to the Blake Wharton video. He killed it on that bike. He's a track guy, he's a super cross racer, so seeing him rip one of these on a track was pretty sick. Love to see him rip this, but we are not riding this bike, guys. This, this bike's not hitting a ride video. I know you'd love to see it. I will link you guys to a CR250 big wheel video that we did in the past. This bike is way too pretty to ride it. So we're going to leave it as is. It's going for sale. It's actually going right on our website, bbcbigwheels.com. It's going right on the website. You can buy it on there, or you can just give us a call and order it. We can ship this thing right out to you. So Alex, we screwed up. We did not make a rack on the back. Thought about it. We thought about it. Thought about it. There's just not a lot of places to mount it. No, me. You've got, you've got two seat bolts, and let's just, let's be real. It's not going to hold up. No. So. Um, the only other thing would be cool though is if we did pop a taillight on there, but that's for another build. Another day, another build. We'll build another one, we can do it. Yep. Hey guys, I, I love it. Again, I love this original. We just want to keep them alive and that's why we're taking bikes like this and we're, uh, we're building them into a fat cat. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video on this here Fat Cat. If you guys like two strokes and you like big wheels and you like what we're doing, comment, give us a thumbs up, definitely subscribe to the channel. If you haven't yet, check out my new website, bbchub.com. I'm going to insert a link to that. And again, if you want to buy this bike, give us a call. Go to our website, bbcbigwheels.com. Shoot us an email. Our phone number's all on there. Give us a call. We'll get this bad boy shipped right out to you. We'll see you in the next video.
grabbed me the triangle stand because we were not cool enough to put a kickstand on this bike. <laughs> but we have a triangle stand. There she is. So you might want to do a double take. Cause yeah, I'm trying. I mean, you guys let us know what you think. Well, that's so cool. I'm super pumped. Ooh. Super pumped to see that color scheme on a 2000 CR250. 